Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. Thank you so much. Right. Welcome you all to our English classes. A great, a great pleasure to, to have you here to start our classes. So it's actually a great time. And also that all of your partners are joining right now to our class. Thank you so much for being responsible and also the punctuality. It's very important. You are punctual here, and that's one of the most valuable parts about this class, to be on time, ready to learn and practice and maximize your English skills. This is uh, what we make the difference. Okay, so let's begin today. And uh, I just, I know that, you know, you're very, very responsible and you all the time, you study, you work in activities, you're a great student. I can, I believe that, and I just believe that. And I would like to know, guys, a little bit about your progress in this class. So I just want to know who wants to help me to, to remember what we studied yesterday, what topics you remember we studied, what, what did we talk about? So who of you would like to, you know, say something about the yesterday's class? Hi. We were apologies. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. Apologies. Apologies, of course, right? Apologies. Thank you. Yeah, apologies. That was good. What else do you remember? What topics, what things we did? Any that you remembered uh, related to yesterday's class? We were talking Talk about, about household court or chart. Excellent. That's impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. I, I learned the classical verbs. <coughs> Okay, that's great. That is actually great. Yeah, so of course we were talking a little bit about apologies. Little excuse. Okay, thank you. That was great. That was that was great and valuable too. Yeah, definitely we talk about apologies. You know, the most common thing about apologies is like when we are requested to do something, like for example, we have a responsibility to do something like could you do this one? Can you help me to check this one? So people, they request help, but sometimes we refused help in others. And we try to use unusual excuses to say that you are not allowed to do that. I'm really sorry, I can, I'm sorry because I'm very sick while I'm working on some other things while I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty busy right now doing things about my job. So people like try to give some excuses. And and yesterday we talked a little bit about that, and also through some conversations and some exercises about that. So we will continue, guys, working with some other topics like a short backup. And remember that you have a question or doubt. Don't hesitate to ask 
you get the, um, the freedom to you know participate actively in the class. So are you ready? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's start with the topic. And we're talking about requests with models. And we will combine the section one and two. We, we will focus a little bit more than about the section number two. And also we had a feedback related to requests with models and wood or mine. So that was the that was the thing, right? Request with models and would you mind? This is a very common phrase when we are using would you mind? And you can appreciate it that people, when they want something to do, uh, they use this word. I'm sorry, would you mind that in Spanish, it has a specific meaning, right? We say in Spanish, oye, te importaría ayudarme con esto? Would you mind to do something? Would you mind cleaning the room? Would you mind helping me with the bags? Would you mind cooking for us today? So we're giving like some instructions. We're requesting something, by the way. Entonces, tenemos la combinación entre un model, que model es un, es un verbo auxiliar, that's what we call model, and plus the simple form of the verb. ¿Y cuál es la simple form? El verbo en su forma normal. Turn, play, jump, sleep, walk, travel, use, present, verbos en presente simple, infinitivo. So that is the model plus the simple form of the verb. So can you turn this stereo down? Could you leave the door open, please? Ese could se convierte en podrías, right? Because it's uh, as an auxiliar. Eh, recuerden tener los micrófonos apagados si no están participando, por favor. Gracias. Entonces tenemos ahí, por ejemplo, el could you leave the door open, please? ¿Podrías dejar la puerta abierta, por favor? Entonces vamos a usar el could as, as part of an auxiliar, as a model bird. And also, would you please keep the noise down? Eh, por favor, podrías bajarle el ruido? So keep the noise down. So that's the another common question and, and a common request when the, your neighbor or the person next to you is making noise. You are like uh, in a polite way requesting to stop doing that one. And people sometimes they understand or they don't. Entonces, esa es la función del model. Could, could you turn on this one? Could you clean up this room? Could you cook up for us? Would you please uh, stay away from this garbage? So you are like giving some requests. The, the ones that we were saying yesterday, because yesterday you wrote some questions. Actually, we're doing great. Y tenemos el famoso, would you mind? Y, y esto dice, would you mind? Space plus gerund. Cuando usamos el would you mind, si vamos a utilizar un verbo, el verbo que sigue tiene que ir con ing. En este caso, en inglés es gerund. Would you mind cleaning? Would you mind taking care of? Would you mind using? Would you mind painting? Would you mind stepping away? Would you mind turn it, turn it down? Uh, the stereo, would you mind not closing the door, please? Would you mind keeping the noise down? Entonces, es muy formal cuando utilizamos el would you mind. Como, hey, ¿te importaría bajarle a la, a la radio, por favor? Es que está haciendo mucho ruido. So you're like requesting the person to do something. And I want you to help me to try to match this one. Match the request with the appropriate responses. Then compare it with the partner and practice them. More than one answer may be possible. So that's mean that you are not attached to just one answer. You can use like more, more than two answers according to the context of the equation and also this thing. Entonces, eh, más de una respuesta puede ser posible en esa combinación, right? So, look at the first example we have here. Oh, could you lend me $20? Could you lend me $20? Would you mind uh, picking up a sandwich for me? Can you help me move into a new apartment tomorrow? Would you mind not smoking here? Would you please move your car? It's blocking my driveway. Would you mind not talking so loud? So we, we can like check this. And also check the possible answers we have here. Oh, we're sorry. We'll talk more quietly. Sorry, I do it right away. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize this was not a smoking section. Are you kidding? I'm totally broke. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. So, try to think about the statement. Trata de ver ahí cuál es la pregunta. ¿Y qué respuesta usted le puede dar a la pregunta? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Check that one. That's what we had to do, right? So I'm just going to give you uh, some minutes to try are, to match. Are you kidding? What? Hello? Are you kidding? I am so kind of broken. Oh, like the possible answer. Broken. Uh, uh, broke. Letter D. Can you learn me $20? Can you learn me $20? Are you kidding? I'm so broke. Yeah, I'm totally broke. Yes, that's okay, Oscar. So, you know, you are requesting someone to borrow you some money or to lend you some money. And the, the best answer could be like, I'm really sorry, but I'm broke. I don't have money. Are you kidding? It's like we were saying in Spanish, like, está bromeando, está loco. Is the, are, you, are you kidding? It's como que está bromeando, right? I'm totally broke. Estoy quebrado. Estoy en la calle. You know, people say when we're talking about money. Entonces, veamos ahí. Vaya, le voy a dar un espacio para que ustedes vayan tratando de, de match the de, statements. De Let's go. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have the question. Oh, what Me, is, what's your equation? Uh, in a modal simple, uh, se puede ocupar cualquiera de los tres o según el contexto. In can, who, in wool. Yes, you can use it. Uh, you can use it. Both can be used. Remember that is the modal plus the simple form of the verb. O sea, el can, el could y el would son modals, son modal verbs. Entonces podemos utilizarlos sabiendo que la, el siguiente verbo que va a ir, va a ir en forma presente. Turn down, leave, keep, step away, clean up, take up, pick up. So that is the combination, the model plus the simple form of the verb. Y en the other, and when you use the main, eh, el verbo irá en ING. Siempre. Mm, no, in this case is, is siempre. Eh, puede ser may, my, should, could, should I go to the doctor, may I go to the bathroom, may I go out. So, eh, esa es la estructura, el model más el, el, el simple present, pero en forma de pregunta, por supuesto. En el caso del would you mind, cuando, cuando va, eso ya es una estructura. Cuando yo digo el would you mind, automáticamente, pues ya es una estructura. Significa que el verbo que sigue tiene que ir con ING. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ok, almost ready? Not yet? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, let's socialize the possible answers we can share here together. Remember that more than one answer can be used for this part. So look at the first example. And um, could you lend me $20? What possible answer we could take? Letter D. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I am totally broken. Yes, I'm totally broken. Yeah. Qué triste, ¿verdad? So sad. 
<laughs> you're requesting like twenty dollars in you know on broad. <laughs> okay, number two. Um, would you mind picking up a sandwich for me? Sure, no problem. I'm really sorry. 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 I'm and also could be letter F, right? F. Yes. Okay. Or also could be letter B. So there is a possibility. You know what? Depending on the context. Remember that the context is very valuable. Um, would you mind picking up a sandwich for me? Sorry, I do. I do it right away. This right away in Spanish is like inmediatamente. Eh, lo, lo haré inmediatamente. I do it right away. Also, there is a possibility too. Because there is one more than one answer can be used for this one. Okay, what about the number three? Letter E. M. Sorry. Sure, no problem. Maybe got to. Sure, no problem. Okay, that's great. What about the number four? What what possible answer we can check about this number four? Oh, I am sorry. I didn't really know. Oh, I am sorry. Okay, all right, that's right. What about the next one? Um, what about, would you please move your car? It's blocking. What do you think? Sorry, I don't know right okay. away. Nice, I, I really like it too. Letter B? Sorry. Yeah, letter B would be very, very specific for the situation. So because the person is blocking, you know, the driveway. So I think that would be the best one. What about what about the number six? Would you mind not talking so loud? Okay. So yes. actually, yeah, that's that's okay. So that that makes sense. That that, that makes um, something important. All right. So that is very valuable. Yeah, congratulations. So look at the ways how we can uh, respond, especially when we are requested to do something, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I would talk more quietly. Oh, I'm sorry. I did it right away. I didn't realize that it was very easy. I totally broke. I can do that. I will help you with that. Sure, no problem. It's okay. So uh, we were talking about these things. Okay, look at the next part of the class. And also complete a request using the appropriate form of the verb. We have, excuse me, would you mind? You had to change the verb in ing form. And also, and this one, your cigarette. It's not a smoking area, I'm sorry. So man, would you mind? You have opened up your luggage. I need to look inside, sorry. Would you mind postponed the exam? And would you mind if I, so look at this. What I want you to do is to take a short time to uh, use the verb in parentheses and add it in ing form. So that's what I want you to do. So remember, after would you mind, the next one should be in with ing form. So I will give you some time to complete this exercise. And changing into ing form, like the examples we saw before. Okay, ready? Can you do that? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I will give you some time to do that couple of minutes and then we go back and we complete the exercise together all right let's go
Excuse me, teacher, I have the question. In phrase example, in the chain, the verb put out is similar. I confuse. Sorry, what, what, what do you ask? Sorry? In, in phrase example, would you mind put out? Yeah, but you had to add it with ing form, make it gerund. The same, put out. Yes, but you had to add it with ing, putting as a oh. gerund. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, let's see here together the following exercise. So I'm just going to change my screen because I need to, to write some possible answers that we can socialize together. So I think it's much better right away. Okay, help me with that too. You will be more than, I will be more neglect that you help me with this exercise. Okay, look at the, look at the exercise here. And also we're gonna try to answer in this part. Dice acá que, excuse me, would you mind? Um, ¿Cómo sería acá? Putting out. Putting out. Ok, would you, would you mind putting out um, uh -huh. uh, your cigarette? It's not a smoking area. So look at this. That is uh, something like putting out your cigarette. It's not a smoking area here. So that is very common, especially when people smoke in public areas or public places. That could be a little bit uncomfortable for some others, right? Okay, look at the next one. Look at the next one. Uh, Ma'am, would you mind? Opening. 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 Opening up your luggage. I need to look inside. Yeah, that makes sense too. Okay, what about this one? Postponing. 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 Teacher, your microphone. Uh, teacher, I can hear, hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought that I had the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that one. Help me with the next exercise, please. Using. 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 Using your phone to my call. Okay, so that will be, would you mind using your phone to make a call? That, that will be the other one. Uh, I'm not at all, go ahead, sorry. So, you know, like not at all is like, for me, it's not a problem, you can use that one. So that is, is something very valuable in this exercise. Okay, what about the number five, tell me. Taking care. Taking care. Taking care. Taking care. Taking care. Do you like cats? Taking care. Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. I love it. Amazing. So it's not a problem that you say. Imagine that your neighbor says, I'm sorry, can you take care of all my cats? Can you take care of my cat? So you say like, okay, I can okay. do that. I love your cat. <laughs> sure. Me yeah. too. He's a That's pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about the next one? Number six. Closing. Closing. My closing back door. Closing the back door, I'm freezing. No, you can close it. Sorry. And the last one. Turn it up. Turn it up. 
Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up the volume. I can't hear anything. No, 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 no. No hay problema. Es como decir, no, no, no. Es como, hey, no, no, es, no es problema. No es inconveniente. Para nada. It's like, not at all. So we can see here the examples about the, the would you mind. It's very formal to ask something. You can do that without any problems. So that is something important. Ok, so let's go with the next exercise. Bien, vamos con el siguiente. Um, ¿Preguntas sobre esto? ¿Questions about this? ¿Todo claro como el agua? No, profesor. Ok. Ok, like water. Clear like water. That, that's what I understand. Ok, let's go with the next. Ok, look at this clear. one. Yes, it's clear. Thank you. So, look at this one. Advancing science and technology in the second half of the 20th century. Uh, second half. So you can pronounce the pronounce the half instead of half. People say half, but it's half. Advance advances in science and technology in the second half of the 20th century. We have some devices like 1957, 1962, 1972, 19. 84, 1986, 1989. So we have the artificial satellite. ¿Cómo se pronuncia satélite en inglés? Satellite. 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 Oh. Yes, that's right. 1962, industrial robot. 1972, video game. 1984, compact disc. CDNS and CD-ROM. 1986, DNA fingerprinted. In 1989, the World Wide Web. So there are some questions about, you know, advances in science. We don't know. Teacher. teacher. Yes. I have a question. What is the main fingerprinting? Fingerprinting is, for example, when you have the, I would say, in Espanol, la como la huella, right? La Es como, eh, en este caso, si la hablamos... La huella de, digital. Eh, solo la huella la es DNA. fingerprint. Pero si hablamos de un DNA fingerprint, significa que es como eh, el ADN, es decir, la, un rastro de su ADN, identificar su ADN personal. Ok, mm -hmm. thanks. You're welcome. Para crímenes. And we're going to answer the following questions. Can you explain the significance of each of these advances? Which... Do you think is the most important, the least important? ¿Cuál de esos es el más importante? ¿Y cuál no es tan importante a, a comparación de los demás? Which have affected your life and which have not? ¿Cuál ha afectado su vida y cuál no? Somebody could say, teacher, you know what? The video games for me is not good. It's not like important, but it's going to be a personal perspective. It's going to be up to you. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a tomar unos minutitos para que usted va a compartir con su grupo, con sus compañeros, va a compartir estas preguntas. ¿Cuál es, eh, qué significa, eh, cuál es el significado de los, que explique el significado de estos avances? Ah, son buenos para la vida, are good for life, we can learn a lot about them. Thanks to this one, we have discovered a lot of things in life. It's going to be very important, so you can start discussing about that. So, which is the most important and which is less important, according to you? So we're going to work in the breakup rooms. We will take a short time to socialize. Less than five minutes, we'll do that. Así que vamos a abrir los breakup rooms y usted va a socializar estas preguntas en inglés. Remember that it has to be in English, nor in Spanish. Questions, questions, questions. Preguntas sobre esto? No questions. No question, teacher. Excellent. So let's... Let's get ready to our breakup rooms. You start and also you start socializing the equations we have here together. Don't forget to speak English. Speak English. Speak.
Okay, can you explain this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or the earth or the advance. Uh, in my case, is. Uh, o sea, se podría decir si I think the most import is World Wide Web. Uh, the important uh, in my life? Or in yes. Or yes. The for me, for me, for me, the most important is the most for me is World the Web. Um, I, am, I think for me is important artificial satellite and import como se dice porque con lo que inició la comunicación por teléfono communication telephone yeah. el satélite el yes yes um, second the more, input, the more important. And, and second import uh, is worldwide web. Second, second importance. And the and the which have not in your life. No, no, no. The second, the second the important. Second, the second important is the después del satélite for worldwide web. Worldwide, yeah. Worldwide with the computer, yeah. In the tree, in the end. In three sec three. Um, industri industrial rocks. Did he? Did he? Ricardo. Did he? No sé, que la verdad. Es que como dice que, sí, que, que más, más, más importante en la vida, creo que como dice la palabra industrial robots, la industria y todo el comercio. El bien es importante porque es funny. Sí, with sí de Rome es, es importante porque es um, importante. Diversion, no, no sé diversion. cómo se dirá, pero por la generación de gráficos que involucró la, la creación de los videojuegos para el desarrollo de muchas otras cosas, creo que fue más, muy, más importante de los que están ahí. Porque las películas, digamos, ahora que vemos en 3D, todos los gráficos que se empezaron a desarrollar con los videojuegos. Bien, 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 pues, bien. Así que yo lo sí diría que no, que son los que menos importan ¿no? sí. pero no sé bueno pero como a mí no me gustan los videos que... <risa> it's very funny it's very funny the video game nothing and when they watch the chill no I like <risa> Mario Bros. Ah. Ah, no. <laughs> um. The the first is static. This industrial robot no importa because antes los personas is is a uh, industrial robot sino como a a cambiar eso no era tan importante. ¿Qué? Sí se hacían las cosas. Yes, yes. Yes, a dictionary. Yes. <laughs> In the dictionary. Ah, yes, the dictionary go the na uh go the clone translator. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, <try> later. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> yeah, sería todo. <laughs>
Yeah, sorry for losing a complete team. <laughs> Thames, temas, perdón, no sé cómo se dice bien temas. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my opinion is equal to Francisco, and I think this now CD is less important, and uh, because it's now no. Did we cannot use. Important to use. Your room. I actually using a memory card. A uh, USB. I think never was important. They compare this. Because the competitive could disappear in a few uh, years. Yes. yes. And the other and the other country say the pen right and, and the US USB. Actually, yes. Actually, yes, the use in USA is um um 10 minutes deposit uh, deposit uh, uh, to save all information or actually uh, using uh, um como se dice la nube and drive and to drive in internet uh for a lay a layer a box uh, layer um, so to all the information. Oh, I'm listening music. Oh, practice English. <laughs> but now, who need mm, this? Uh, how do you say? Who need a uh, compact this if we have a like a Spotify for listening to music, like yes, Netflix yes. for watch uh, a movie, series, something like that. Yes, in actual in the movie, to apps, the music, um, video, example, um, Netflix, Prime Video, um, uh, pirate, uh, pirate apps. <laughs> Hello teacher, hello teacher, how are you, how are you? <laughs> Ay, Francisco. <laughs> Ay, que divertido, say joking moments. <laughs> yeah, of course, we had to. Yeah, the best choice, the best. Teacher, choice. what is your report for you, uh, the test team? Uh, I'm sorry? What would the, the best? No sé si lo dije bien, que yeah. cuál es el tema importante para usted, no sé si lo dije bien. But uh, about what? I mean, the, the topics about what? Because there are a lot of uh, topics. Sorry, topic. Uh, yes. What is important import, import, important for you? Uh, according to the ones we have here, advances yes, in science. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, all of them are very, very, are very important. I mean, I mean, there is not like uh, differences because uh, as inventions, most of the inventions are very important for humans in direct or in the right way. So for me, all of them have something very valuable for all of us. The ones that are related to, for example, health, protection care, and are valuable. Like for example, medicine, advances on equipment mm -hmm. for medicine, for me would be the, a priority because they sell, save lives. So for me, that would be the best. Okay. <laughs> it's a video game you noise know, important for you? um not at all i mean it's important depending if we are using for prototypes but mm. it's like a little bit more for entertainment so it's it's okay um to i actually actuality hospital uh using a video game for uh no sé cómo pacientes con problemas mentales a uh, uh, mental problems patients a right? mental problem yes uh for example the pulse games is actually uh, using for uh, a stimulate mind. Stimulate, stimulate mind. mind, okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes, that's Thanks, right. Teacher. Yeah, that, that's, that's, I said, it's mm -hmm. important 
um, but not accepting when it's entertainment. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, of All course, right. because there are some prototypes already done because of games, consoles. Mm -hmm. But when we are talking about entertainment, it's like we're having fun. And entertainment it's, is okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's actually balanced. Well, look at <laughs> the following. Teacher. Oh, again, thank you. Look at the following conversation. So I want you to read this conversation and also check the context because I will ask you what is the conversation about. Um, Vamos a pasar la asistencia y quiero que usted lea la, la conversación y me diga de qué se trata. So, just give me one second. Okay, listen to your name and you say present. Eh, Alejandro José Quintanilla. Alejandro José. Present teacher. Oh, thanks. Eh, no. Andrea Filomena Mendoza. Ana teacher. Thank you. Andrea Ana. Geraldina Sánchez. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Andrea Michelle García. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Martin Salinas. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernandez. Presente. Uh, Carlos Jose Asensio. Present teacher. Okay, Dennis Isaías Gomez. Dennis Isaías. Listening present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Eh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Eh, Elba Carolina Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Maidel and uh, Antonio Flores. Erika Flores. Eh, Francisco Alberto Gus Lemus. I heard the chair. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Iris Regina Hernandez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Rolando Escalante. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Jenny Elizabeth. Present, uh, teacher. Present. Okay. Jessica Yanet Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Eduardo Morán. Present teacher. Thank you, Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Eh, María Lucila Soto. María Lucila Soto. Present. Eh, Maritza Isabel Méndez. Present teacher. Eh, Nadia Isolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Noemi Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Cruz Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Uh, Sara Naida Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Vidal Evelio Mejía. Present teacher. Wendy Abigail Rivera. Present. Thank you. And Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. What I told you. He's not here. Okay. Teacher, en el chat le están contestando también. Who? Um, no. Present, Jenny. Uh, Let's 
she's here. Yeah, Muscle been here. Okay, let's continue, guys. Well, um, okay, we we check the conversation. What was the conversation about? What can you? Who wants to help me? What do you understand about the conversation? About the computer technology. Okay, what else? About the modding. The computer is connected to many other apparatus. Speak about the modding for web. All right, that's okay. The users, the computer. They use the, the modding. The, the so the man uh, asked uh, what's this for because uh, he uh, don't know what the morning is. Uh, he uh, advised her to get internet. Uh, Tell computer the modem with TPC. She explained it what is it for. And use it for connecting internet, uh, use it to fax. And... Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. So we were talking about that. That was a very clear conversation. So, but I, what I want you to check is like the focus about the vocabulary. Look at the next topic about infinity and gerunds just before concluding the class. And um, just I want to make it big. So one second. Uh, okay. Infinitives and gerunds. What is infinitive and what is a gerund? Infinitives, as the word says, are the verbs in the simple present form. I'm just going to explain you. For example, the verbs in infinitive are the verbs in the simple present form, like play, dance, go, use, take play, dance, try, that we call them infinitives. And also, as the word says, gerunds are the verbs in infinitive, and we add ing at the end of the verb to make it gerunds. According to this grammar, is factory, so we can combine infinitive and gerund, so we can use both of them. And what is the reason? We can describe a use or a purpose. So if I ask you guys, uh, the answer will be that we use them uh, to describe a use or to describe a purpose. That is the reasons about using the gerund and infinitive. So we don't have to forget. And we have some examples that could be very helpful to understand this part. A modem is used to connect computers to phones, right? We have the first one. A modem is used to connect computers to phones. Vemos que está la palabra connect, to connect. In gerunds will be, it's used for connecting, for connecting, for, that is the preposition, connect plus ing for computers to phones and both describe a use or describe a purpose. We can use both of them, but we can see the ingerence that we use for it. Computers are often used to write letters. Computers are often used to write letters. And the answer will be, they are used, they are often used for, we use for as a gerund, plus write in ing form for writing letters. I can use the word wide web to find information. I can use it for finding information. So you can see that both can be used to describe a use or a purpose. So look at the examples here. What do you know about this technology? Complete the phrases in column A with the information from column B, then compare it with the part. Satellites are used for what? Look at the possible choice that we can use. Study the worst weather, perform the year's task, read the latest weather report, transmit telephone calls, make a photocopy, 
identify criminals, make travel reservations, transmit television programs, or store an encyclopedia. That is the pronunciation. Encyclopedia. 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 Right. I will say. Encyclopedia. Es como la enciclopedia. Los diccionarios le llaman dictionaries o le llaman trisauros. Another word to say diccionario, trisauros. Okay, so le voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted elija cada una cuál podría ser la posible respuesta. So you can try now and good luck. Microphone. Guys, the microphone, please. Guys, the microphone. Good evening, Carlos.
Okay, so let's um, socialize the, the possible answers we have here together. So you will be my help in this time. All right, look at this. Uh, hmm. Satellites are used. What possible answers we could share here? Study the world. Study the world. Study the world. Okay. 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 Transmission television. Transmission television. Transmission television. Okay. Transmission television program. Okay. Good. Good. So we could have more than one answer. Television program. Spectacular. And robots are sometimes used perform dangerous tasks. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Next one. You can use a fax machine to make a photo. Make a photo. Make a photo reservation. Okay. Make a photocopy. Okay, four. People use internet. People use the internet. Travel reservation. Travel reservation. Travel reservation. DNA fingerprints is used. Uh, identify identify criminals. Identify criminals. Identify criminals. Okay. That's Crimin right. Excellent, guys. Well, so because of the time, we will continue tomorrow. But uh, the most important is that we can also match uh, vocabulary with the context. So that is very valuable in also combining the, the, the infinitives and also the gerunds. So, you know, the times go so fast and I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to keep on practicing, working with the exercises and congratulations for the work done. You know, the practice is very important. And meanwhile, we work a lot, we practice more. English is getting is easier for us. So see you tomorrow and have a beautiful night to all of you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Take care a lot.